so I'm going to do a quick sanity check of the resistance of the coil winding. So I've taken off the three wires that go to the coil and I'm going to set up my meter to measure resistance, which hopefully you can see. And I'm going to measure between the two connections for the primary. I'm not getting a very good contact on. Which should give you a reading of a few ohms. Which it does. And then if we go between the centre pin and the negative side, we should see the resistance I didn't set this up right did I? I should see the secondary resistance let's try that so we're getting 6.8 kilo ohms which I suspect is okay but maybe a little low Maybe okay. I think it'd be good if I compare that to another coil. Okay, so spare classic car, and I'm going to see if I can access the terminals to do a resistance check on this coil which would have a similar setup and I don't know if I can get on it I can't actually see what I'm doing so around 3.4 ohms on the primary 3.3 .3. and if I can get in there I will have a look and see what we got on the secondary I don't know if I can get in oh maybe six K which is not far different from the other one. Um, I know this was known a good last running, although it has not run for a, a good good number of years, shall we say. So, like for like comparison, looks pretty reasonable. Also, I wonder if anybody recognises what what make of engine this is. <laughs> 